Carolina is a red-sided eclectus female, about six years old. She is six years old now. And uh, as I've shown in other videos, you can see her in her eye there, the orbital ring, it's purple. And her beak's a little bit beat up, but she's it's in better shape than it was. She had some problems with another bird. And uh, that helped fix it. I don't know what she did. I think it's a super glue. We use super glue, part of the uh, vitamin E. And um, anyway, super glue is a good fix for certain things. They use it for on people. And they operate too. They use super glue. Pretty sure. Anyway, let's see. She, I, peanuts aren't the best nut for them, but I don't have any in their nuts. And sometimes she eats pistachio nuts. Which probably isn't that good, but. Once in a while, things are all right, but as I said before, too much, anything that's on the line isn't good. Let's see, she wants this peanut. You want that? I don't know what she's thinking. Well, anyway, this is Carolina, and she's a real sweetheart. You know, when I first saw these birds that were available, I couldn't believe that such an incredibly beautiful parrot. I mean, they're all beautiful. Amazon parrots, the traditional green, the yellow, orange, redhead, you know, Amazon parrots from Mexico and Central America. That's what we were used to seeing in the 60s, 70s, late 60s, I'm not that old, and the 70s in stores. I didn't get any birds till I was in my 30s because I was on the road as a musician off and on and lived in different places. And my mother let me have snakes, but no birds. She was afraid of birds, not so much afraid of snakes. Anyway, I couldn't believe it, that these birds were actually sold in the pet trade. And of course, it's too bad that any birds are sold in the pet trade, because, but they are, and that's the reality of it. And people will say, you shouldn't keep your bird in a cage. Well, this is their home. And there's an aviary outside that I'm gonna put them in, it's much bigger, but it's still a cage. Ideally, no animals, no wild animals, especially, should have been uh, kept as pets, but the problem is we can't go back to the past and change it. I don't know any any machines to get into and change the way people behave from all over different places. Of course, people kept parrots as pets. Native American, I mean, since natives in Africa, the local people, I mean, wherever Indonesia, where this bird is from, around there, everywhere where there are these type of birds. People kept them as pets, and then when white people came around and saw saw them and they wanted them, then they would go out and find them and harvest them from their nests. Now at least there's breeders that breed birds for pet, the pet trade, but the one problem is that each bird uh, has an average, I've been told, of seven different homes throughout its lifetime. So ultimately, I hope with our birds, we have 12 now, they will go to a sanctuary where they will be able to stay there forever. That's what I wanted to do with this place, but it doesn't seem to be happening. If something did happen like that, it would be fantastic, but probably I'll have to find a home, but I'll, find, I'll try to find one home. Now certain birds that I have, they would do better probably in, um, a home with a cage like this cage here and it's not a big cage but they get out and it's their home they they would be totally lost if I let them into the wild where I live and they wouldn't have a chance and I've lost some birds like that and I always feel bad about it that they're getting out one bird was out two weeks ago 
somehow got out. But this happened two years ago to her too. And each time she was very happy to get back home into her, it's an outside aviary, so it's bigger than this, outside, inside aviary, quite a bit bigger than these, than this area. I mean, it's a big aviary, she flies around. But she wanted it to go back. She did not want to be out in that big old wild world. She knew where her partner was and where her food was, and somebody was there to clean up and take care of him and give him fresh water. There was no, you know, there was, it was not a question. She wanted to come back to where she felt safe. And you flip it around, a wild bird caught, even if it's young, after a few months. Uh, you can be tamed for sure, uh, but it's used to the wild. It does not want to go and be kept in a cage and, and taken away from its mate or whatever. So at least the breeders have helped contribute to uh, stopping some of the wild animal trade, wild bird trade in particular here. All, of course, there will always be some of it. Like people in Australia, they don't allow fauna, birds, animals, wildlife to be exported since 1959. But for sure, black cockatoos and other birds that anything from Australia have been smuggled out of the country. There's only so much that the governments can do about it. But they've created some rules and some regulations that I think benefit uh, wild wild birds, so that the pet trade is in that is isn't as bad or as rampantly bad as it used to be. The CITES treaties um, have helped out a lot, I think, which you can look up online, C-I-T-E-S, between countries. Well, <laughs> Carolina's just got that peanut hanging in her mouth, her beak, rather. So I think we'll just say, um, we'll say goodbye to Carolina right now. However, as I did before in another video, there is another bird that looks like her, but she's called the Bosmaria Collectus, and she's bigger. So right now, I have her in a cherry Pepsi Coca-Cola box. She hangs out there uh, to be alone, to be kind of in her nest box, or what she perceives as her next box. It's not really a nest box, because she doesn't have any, any mates, unfortunately.